Well, praise the Lord. This is Bill Prankard, and this is Mentoring Moments. As I look at the church today in general, uh, there's a lack of power, lack of vision, and um, the gates of hell are prevailing. That's not a criticism, it's an observation. As I compare the book of Acts to where we are today, I think it's pathetic. And there's a teaching that's very uh, predominant in the church, that when you come to Christ, you remain a poor, weak sinner. You'll always be a poor, weak sinner until you go to heaven. And really nothing you can do about that. You'll always struggle. And um, that's the way it is. I want to say that is, I mean, that's so demonic. That's so ungodly. And that's so unscriptural that I can't believe that intelligent people, Christian leaders, would buy into that. Uh, many people who pride themselves on be, being theologians and students of the scripture are teaching this, and it's so far from scripture. Jesus said to the leaders in his day, you're in error because you don't know the scriptures and the power of God. Those that were teaching religion, Jesus said, you don't know the scriptures. And Catherine Kuhlman used to say, <laughs> some of you preachers, you're educated far beyond your intelligence. I mean, the scripture teaches something totally opposite. It says when you come to Christ, you are born again. You become a new creature. Old things are passed away and all things have become new. We repent of our sin and it's gone and forgotten and we're part of the kingdom of God. The Bible says that Jesus taught at Caesarea Philippi, the gates of hell will not prevail against the church because he gives us the keys. As long as you believe you're a poor, weak sinner, you're never gonna be able to do much for God. But if you understand that the authority we have, I mean, the Bible teaches so clearly, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. If I said, where's God today? Most people say, well, he's in heaven. No, he isn't. I mean, through Holy Spirit, he is residing in here. He made the decision. He made the decision that he would not dwell in buildings, but our bodies would become the temple of the Holy Ghost. All the power of the Godhead resides in here. We pray and fast, say, oh God, let the river flow. Let the river flow through my church, through my community, through our nation. If the river is going to flow, it's going to flow out of you. Jesus said, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Whatever you bind shall be bound. Whatever you loose shall be loosed. You have to understand that you are not a poor, weak sinner. You're redeemed. You're redeemed. You're part of the kingdom of God. I mean... You've got healing in your hands. You've got deliverance in your mouth. God wants to use you to change history. He didn't talk about a whole group of people just waiting until he comes. You know, when I came in to Pentecost um, in 1963, one of the songs they sang was Hold the Fort for I'm Coming. And uh, they would wave their hankies in those days, you know, <laughs> which to me was surrendering. But it was like we were in a fort and just hanging on till Jesus comes. That's not Bible. The Bible says we're to occupy, we're to take over. In Canada, our nation's called the Dominion of Canada. And it was started with that prophetic word from Psalm 72, 8. He shall have dominion from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. And so we say, oh God, have dominion, have dominion. If Jesus is going to have dominion in the Arctic, in the east and south and west of our nation. I tell you, it's going to be Christians taking dominion, taking back what the enemy stole. God, give us the anointing that David had. Well, everybody else was intimidated, thinking we couldn't do anything. This big giants out there. He said, we are the army of the living God, and they're the filthy, uncircumcised Philistines. And this day, they're going down. God, give us that anointing. And understanding what the Bible teaches, that we are no longer poor, weak sinners. That's what we used to be. Who do we think we are? We know who we are. We are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. I mean, we are here to show forth the praises of him who has called us out of darkness into glorious light. So rise up. 
rise up, choose to believe the word and choose to believe that you are what the word says you are and move into your authority and start taking back what the enemy has stolen. What we bind is bound, what we loose is loose. In Jesus' name, that's it. God bless you. This is Bill Prankard, and this is Mentoring Moments.